Hi guys, Paul Pluto from the Paul Pluto channel doing paid reviews, paid reviews. And today I'm doing a paid review. This is for, this is for Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Jesus. Here we go. Now, let's have a look here. This is for Aiden. Let's have a look. Hi, Archie. It's been over a year since I corresponded with you. One year older and wiser, yet sans Rolex. I knuckled down and have almost finished my degree. I have a job uh, lined up for me when I finish, and now I'm hunting. F my, my watch hunting is beginning in earnest. To refresh your memory, I was looking into a Rolex Explorer 136 mil, but decided to use the money to travel and enjoy my last year as a student. Yes, I remember. What a fucking mistake, man. Get get the Rolex. Okay. Uh, I made the right choice. Or well, so you say. Between the financial sacrifice and inconvenience of working casually, studying full time with a $6,000 watch on my wrist. Yeah, but it's a Rolex, man. I think I dodged a foolish decision. I have waited and now I have greater clarity as to which watch um, which watch to to I want it doesn't quite say uh, I have waited and now I have greater clarity as to which watch I, I think he made a mistake I want as my one and only piece one and only piece Jesus my financial nous has uh, matured and I am a big believer in buying right and buying once. Uh, buy one pair of RM Williams black leather dress boots, buy one Saint DuPont cigarette lighter, buy one Dunhill briefcase. In short, I realized the Explorer was too dull with its matte black dial and plain dial configuration. What the what are you talking about? After handling and trying on these pieces, I knew that I would be buying once, but not buying right. No, you're wrong. That is classic. It's just beautiful. Bauhaus. Does, okay. Now it's time for me to begin my career at a company, which is a household name across the world. I did the tough slog at uni and I'll be stepping into a role which I feel very grateful to have bestowed upon me. I know the office environment and unfortunately Rolex won't be sneered at by insecure colleagues. I know I want either a date just or a day date. I have three questions. Ah, oh, fuck. Man, go with the bloody Explorer 1. <coughs> Number one, vintage or 90s. I've been watching Theo and Harris on YouTube and pursuing the Theo and Harris watch shop. I am 99% certain that he's an honest guy running an honest business selling working vintage watches. I have really grown fond of the pie pan dials of the 1601s and 1803s. They have a charm that more modern Rolexes are missing. Add to that the unique handset like Alpha or Delphine and they really begin to pull on my wrist, on my wallet strings. What is the situation with servicing the 1601, the 1803 parts? Can I expect the bastard to be serviced, etc., in 50 years? Okay, now he sent me a few links to uh, some... Okay, well, okay. Uh, at, the, at this stage, I am learning to something... I'm leaning, leaning to something like this. For my one and only watch. I know it's vintage, but I always wear a cheap watch or no watch. If I'm doing anything which might damage a watch or attract unnecessary attention from the nasty fuckers, it is advisable to have a vintage Rolex as a day. Is it advisable to have a vintage Rolex as a daily wearer? Because I know there is a lot of conjecture surrounding the subject. The pontiff knows best. Also, I would be wearing those old watches on a strap, particularly the gold ones, because the pie pan dial and the pseudo croc strap, they just pop. Okay. Then he sent me a link to an 1803. Uh, the gold date just is my preference and I love it. Just as Michael Caine had in on a strap to get Carter, dignified, elegant, and yet restrained without the bracelet, making a statement without having to approve anything. Fuck, I love gold and nothing can be 
beat it. Yes, but they they are a girl size watch. I don't think I, I quite okay, so um okay, that's his first question. So so let's just answer this question firstly. Buy once, buy right. Yes, I agree, but I think you're making a massive mistake. Personally, if I was to buy a date just itself, I'd be buying a 16234. That's a 36mm sapphire crystal. Uh, the bracelets tend to be better in that type of watch than the more modern um, ones yet. Um, now, uh, so i got to be completely frank with you. Um, my honest opinion is the sweet spot. I think that... I think the vintage is not an everyday wearer, okay? It's like having an E-Type Jaguar and you start using it as a daily beater. You don't do that. You have a really nice vintage piece. You you wear it, for you use it for special occasions. You don't treat it like a daily. It'll fucking die! Those vintage watches were never as good as the current ones, okay? Contrary to what bullshit uh, the media puts out there, uh... <clears throat> We make a lot of things better now than we ever did in the past. So my advice to you, I can tell you honestly, I think this bullshit about having one watch for life, that is fucking bullshit, okay? That is just absolute terminal bullshit. I I, I don't I think you've got to honestly get steel sports. That's what I would be getting. Steel sports. I think that's that's really what you should be doing. Steel sports watches. Um, yeah, steel sports is where I would be going. So, to be completely honest with you, I think, I can't believe you, the date, look, this bullshit about one watch, that's just crap. I would honestly say steel. If you're going to get a watch for every day, you make it fucking steel. <laughs> At least it'll last. These two-tone, man, they stretch. They stretch, okay? You can't just wear, 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 wear. These are vintage pieces. Vintage can be cool. I agree, I agree. But you can't just, you can't just wear it every day, okay? Parts aren't a big problem, but Rolex says it is a problem. So there's those watches, there's a lot of parts out there, but... To be honest with you, man, I'd be buying more modern. I'd be getting quick set date. I'd get a Sapphire 16234 from the early 90s. 90s, No holes case. That's where I'd be going. I reckon that's the sweet spot. But that's 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 where I would go. The I think the 18038, the heads by themselves. The whole thing about the president is the bracelet. There's no point getting one just on a strap. It looks I know it looked good in Get Carter, but fuck me, Dad, you still want the bracelet. You want to do that, you take the bracelet off, but you at least have the bracelet, okay? So I, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be doing that. So, steel sports, man. If you're gonna go date just sixteen two three four, but otherwise, get. I honestly think to you, uh, you'd be better off if you're having money problems, and then I understand it. Money's tight, man. I reckon the best bang per buck. Get a. Get an explore, but these are getting expensive. These are fucking dear now. They're expensive. I can't even recommend the Polar because they aren't cheap. <coughs> so what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'll tell you what you do. It's simple. It's simple. You know what you do? You get a Tudor Black Bay. That's what you do. You get a Tudor Black Bay because that is a sports Rolex. Well, it's a Tudor. Tudor in-house movement. It's not going to piss anyone off. It's your first job. Come on. Forget this bullshit one watch for life. Bullshit. That's not going to work. So that's what I'd be doing. Going the tutor way. Okay. So, so yeah, I, I, that's, that's uh, question number two. As I've never owned an 18K watch, is it delicate? Is it really as delicate as you make it out to be? Fuck yes. It's very soft. <laughs> I put gas in my car once when I had my 5107 and I fucked one of the lugs. <laughs> Man, they're very, you didn't even know I did it. Particularly without the bracelet. Yes, yes, yes. That that paddock was a five one zero seven on a leather strap. I I I, I fuck right in. Oh Jesus, is it certain? Is it a certainty that if I wear the watch six days a week, it will look like a dropped, like a dropped meat pie painter's radio button? 
on my shoe. No, well, it won't. Won't it depends how what's how rough you are. But I, I don't know if I'd be wearing it every 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 day. Without tooting my own trumpet, I'm an only child and I went to a grammar school as a boy. Fuck. I am always, I always have always had and appreciate nice things. Yes, well, well, look, Rupert. Fuck me, dead! Privilege! White privilege, I think it's called. White privilege! White privilege! And to continue there, I've always had and appreciate far nice things. I went through some tough financial times as a kid. So I never take material luxuries for granted. Even my steel Seiko, which I consider a luxury as a student, is minty, minty, minty after two years and countless hikes, dives, snowboarding, nightclub situations, hunting trips. Gold is my preference, but is the metal a deal breaker if you're looking for another 50 years of near daily use? Ah, gold, 18 karat. Look, I got to tell you, I love 18 karat gold. I love it. <coughs> Absolutely love it. I think it's a very luxurious metal. It's got a completely different feel to steel. And uh, I, I got to tell you, in all honesty, uh, white gold is, you know, it, it's, it's, it's an amazing metal. People say, oh, why would you buy white gold? It looks like steel. But when you actually feel the metal it's 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 just just amazing i like steel i quite like steel i personally hate titanium uh <laughs> i like i like steel um but i gotta be honest with you i wouldn't be using gold as an everyday type of piece i've owned a number of gold pieces i had a 5035 annual calendar patek philippe 5107 I've had a number of uh, precious metal, and although I love gold, I think it's better to wear it on special occasions. Um, that's that, that's my view. That's my view. I think steel is really um, the better metal to to go for there. So I I would seriously say. Um, I would seriously, seriously say go for, definitely go for steel. Steel! Steel stunners! That's what I would go for. Steel. Go for steel. Go for steel. Gold is nice as a special, as, see this is the thing, one watch bullshit. You have a steel watch and you have a gold watch. That's what you should do, man. More than one. We're not, we're not living in 1960s. Uh, after World War Two, you know, scarcity of resources. This is uh, this is not the case. Question three: If you disagree with gold and/or vintage, I'm considering a 1990s, 90s, 16.234 on a Jubilee or an 18.238 on a President. Both are new and more expensive. Well, they're newer. They're not new. The 16234 has been replaced by a double 16234, and the 18238 has become the double 18238. Um, I would wait a few years to save if necessary. Both I would wear on a strap until I have grey, no hair, or turn 35. Fuck me, then 35 is young! 35 is not old. Uh, whichever comes first, at least at the office. I reckon it would be precocious to wear either reference on a bracelet, particularly the 18238, that's the, the gold president, uh, until, until I am more mature than I am currently, unlike many of my contemporaries. I am fully aware of my position in the pecking order. I don't like this. This, this is too much anal analyze, you know, just too much analyzing shit. Never outshine your boss and expect to shovel some corporate shit in the trenches before... Getting too ambitious. That's why you should get a Tudor Black Bay Heritage. That's what I... Go for Tudor, 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 Black Bay, Black Bay. And, I mean, that's just such a cool watch for a young'un. That's just such a cool, 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 cool watch, man. Get a Tudor Black Bay, then add a Rolex. That's what I would be doing. Um, with... Uh, he goes, uh, with either reference on a strap. If the boss asks, you can always say your grandfather had it gifted to him 
and bequeathed it. Oh, don't worry about your boss. He doesn't even know about watches, man. He's got other hobbies. He's got other hobbies. Come on, man. I, I never found watches. A steel watch would never be a problem. Later down the track when I'm ready, I will be in contact again. I will need to know how to pull the trigger on a piece. Well, that's not hard. I.e. where to go, where to look for. Come on, man. It's not 50 questions. And of course, I am more than aware that you don't do shit for free. However, I know you will be saving me a fair bit of coin down the track uh, to point and click. Thanks for advice. I greatly appreciate uh, have a brain like yours to pick apart. Tell me what you think. Your Holiness, I am open to ideas, including a JLC Ultra Thin Moon, but no sports watches. Cheers. $20 sent. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. Email, video, uh, reply, video at your discretion. Blah, blah, blah. Um, i got to be honest with you. Look, I would seriously say to you, in your case there, man, Steel sports, get a tutor, get a tutor, get it. You're too analyzing it. Don't worry about the boss or he thinks this. A lot of the time, they don't even know what these fucking things are cost. Man, if I were you, get yourself. You know what I'd get if I were you? Get yourself a tutor. Tutor, Black Bay. It's a beautiful watch for your station in life. And then, because you're a pretentious, you went to the right schools and you're a pretentious little fucker, get yourself. A bregay. That's what I would be doing. That's what the pretentious fuckers would wear. So, Tudor and then go into a bregster. That's what I'd be doing, man. That's what I would do. I think it suits you to a T. I'm Paul Pruder. Thank you so much for uh, sending that review through to me. And don't forget, guys, paid reviews, 50 US dollars. Like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. Thank you.